But in John chapter 9, we have this strange story where it says there was a man born blind, and Jesus healed him. And when he does, just ahead of that, the disciples who have been learning from him, who have been traveling with him, who have been healing with him, they say, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he should be born blind? Well, it's absurd to think that the man had sinned. He was born blind. And Jesus goes, well, in this case, boys, it's neither one. He was born blind as a one-off, that the glory of God would be seen in him and he would be healed and so on. But note that Jesus does not rebuke that line of thinking. And if you read the commentaries on John 9, all of the you know, Western commentators that don't understand this Hebrew way of thinking about sin, transgression, and iniquity, all of them say pretty much the same thing. Well, you know, in those days... People mistakenly believed that the sins of their ancestors could come and attach to them. And that's why these men were asking that. Well, duh. Why do you think they thought that? Daniel, Ezra, Nehemiah, Psalm 32, Psalm 51, Psalm 85, Psalm 103, Psalm 107. We, they had really good reason to believe that. They weren't just benighted fools, but, you know, today we know better because we have cell phones and nuclear power and the Internet. So there's this arrogant pride that keeps us from seeing that but note jesus does not rebuke it what does that tell you in his healing training with his disciples he was teaching them to look for and discern the iniquitous roots of problems in people's lives not that every single disease is anchored to this let me be really clear about that because otherwise all of you are going to go home and start introspecting what do i have down there oh my gosh uh, i wonder if my grandfather you know all that but this is the one you deal with, this iniquity. When nothing else is working, you go, there's got to be something here. We need to take a deeper cut. That's when you transition to the iniquity. First, deal with sin and transgression because that's in the now generation with the person you're dealing with. But when nothing else is working, back it up and maybe take a look. What's going on in your family history?